Welcome back to 100 Days of Logic with Night of Second Philosophy and Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with categorical logic, looking at categorical syllogisms. Today we will be looking at figure one. This is a specific form of categorical syllogism. Now, there are four different figures of categorical syllogisms. The figure of a categorical syllogism has to do with where the middle terms go in the first two premises. Remember, the middle term is going to be whatever term is in both of those premises, and that conclusion is always going to go subject, predicate. The middle term is going to be what distinguishes the different forms. So we note in figure one, the middle term is in the first slot in the pre first premise, and the middle term is in the second slot in the second premise. Let's take a look. So it would look something like this. If we did it with a 3A categorical syllogism, all M are P, all S are M, therefore all S are P, with our middle terms filling in kind of that diagonal slanting from the top left to the bottom right. A famous example of a valid figure one is known as the Barbara. It's called the Barbara because there's three A's in the word, and it's a 3A categorical syllogism. It goes, all animals are mortal, all men are animals, all men are mortal. We note that this is a figure one because of that diagonal we see between the middle terms. That was figure one. We're also going to be looking at figure two, figure three, and figure four. Watch a new video every single day for 100 days here at Carnadies.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.